Hi viewers, welcome to the introductory class on mechanics of materials. In this class, I will give a brief introduction to the subject and also differentiate it from engineering mechanics. It is a very basic subject and the fundamentals of which is required for every mechanical and civil engineer. I will introduce rigid body and non-rigid body concept before introducing the subject. A material is said to be rigid when it does not undergo any kind of deformation, deflection uh, under the action of external loads. Whatever amount of external loads acts on the material, it is not producing any kind of deformations in the form of uh, deflections, reduction in length, increase in length, buckling, or twisting etc. No kind of deformation if it is produced by the external forces then uh, you can say the body is rigid or in other way you can say the distance between two points inside the body never changes under the action of, of forces then also you can say the body is rigid but rigid body is a theoretical concept no bodies are perfectly rigid in nature. It is only uh, based on the situation we treat the bodies as rigid. Now, for example, if you take an iron bar in your hand and if you try to stretch it, you cannot do that. The amount of uh, deformation you can produce on this iron bar is negligibly small and it practically you can say you cannot deform it but if the same bar if you test it using a universal testing machine which can apply a large amount of force and you can stretch the bar and you can deform it you can also break it so this iron bar when you are applying force on it you can treat it as a rigid one because it's not undergoing any kind of deformation so the amount of force you are applying on it, you can treat that iron bar as rigid. But when you are applying large amount of force, then it is also a deformable one. It produces deformations. The forces produces deformation on it. And in such situations, you should treat it as a deformable body. So it is only a relative concept. Wherever it's required, uh, the same body can be treated as a rigid or non-rigid or deformable body. So, uh, let us see what is a deformable body or non-rigid body and what are the different kinds of deformation the load can produce on a body. Now, let us take a, a bar. Now, if it is uh, subjected to axial compressive force there will be a reduction in length say so delta is a reduction in length the initial length was L due to this force applied the length reduces by delta so compressive forces reduces the length compressive in the sense like you are applying one end is fixed the other end you are, I have shown a force applied now the fixed end will exert an equal and opposite force for to maintain equilibrium so the fixed end is exerting a, a force in a downward in this case it's downward or both forces are trying to compress the body or red, try to reduce the length of the body and uh, finally if it is a deformable body the length is decreasing now if you are pulling it there will be an opposite force uh, exerted by the fixed end to maintain equilibrium and uh, fixed end will exert an upward force and the, this pull will elongate the body. So if a body is subjected to a pull, that force will increase the length of the body and if it is a deformable body. So this uh, deformation produced increase in length. So axial forces will either uh, reduce the length or increase the length so this uh, kind of deformation and another kind of deformation is a twisting angular twist 
when it is subjected to torque the material will undergo an angular twist so this is a deformation and this a bar supported at the ends a bar is supported at the ends and it's subjected to a central load this will bend the bar if it's a deformable one it will undergo a bending and there will be a deflection on the bar so this is another kind of deformation and if a compressive load is acting on a long structure so that may even buckle the uh, this column so buckling is also another kind of a deformation so these are the a few examples for the deformation produced on uh, structural members so deformable body which uh, undergo some kind of uh, deformation either deflection uh, bending angular twist etc now, now let us review what you have studied in engineering mechanics or mechanics of rigid bodies so in mechanics of rigid bodies or engineering mechanics we have studied the external effects of forces external effects of forces on bodies so what are the external effects of forces so external effects are equilibrium or motion rest or motion equilibrium means rest rest or motion these are the external effects forces produce on bodies for example let us consider a block resting on an inclined plane now this block uh, if it is in equilibrium uh, it is balanced by the forces acting on it now gravity force is acting downward the normal reaction exerted by the surface is acting normal to the surface and uh, the frictional force is acting upward these forces may keep the body in equilibrium okay and we can study in mechanics we can study uh, what circumstances the body will remain in a state of rest if you increase the angle uh, the body starts sliding so what uh, is the maximum inclination of the plane possible to maintain equilibrium that you can study in uh, engineering mechanics provided you know the uh, surface property no we, we are not uh, uh, interested in the internal effects what deformations these forces produce on body we are only studying the external effect of uh, that means in this case rest or motion no if uh, inclination if you increase or uh, uh, frictional force if you reduce the surface make if you make smooth that uh, block will slide it, it cannot be uh, kept on this inclined plane and it will slide down now what circumstances it slide down and what with what velocity is slide down that also you can study so that is analyzing the motion so uh, another example is a projectile it's uh, it is uh, projected at a, an angle theta from the horizontal and with a velocity v now in dynamics part of uh, mechanics we study what velocity and what angle you, uh, you should project that this particle so that it uh, covers a horizontal distance okay what is the horizontal uh, that range it covers when it is projected with a velocity v and at an angle theta from the horizontal and similarly you can find out the uh, height uh, maximum height reached by the body so this is analyzing motion so we are not worried about the uh, what happens to the internally on the body whether uh, the body is undergoing any kind of uh, uh, structural change when it is uh, moving on this path okay so that is uh, in engineering mechanics we are only concerned with the rest or motion and we are not worried about the internal effects that produces uh, by uh, the forces acting on it now in strength of materials or uh, mechanics of materials we are concerned with the internal effects 
and that is internal effects let us uh, we have already seen that internal effects like some of the internal effects uh, like deformations produced in mechanics of materials or strength of materials we are more concerned about the internal effects rather than external effects so internal effects in the form of deformation produced or uh, resisting forces set up inside all that are uh, studied in um, mechanics of materials so if it's subjected to a axial force the material may undergo deformation and uh, there is either decrease in length or increase in length due to this force uh, what is the elongation produced uh, how much elongation it's produced in the bar uh, if you know the force material properties and cross section of the bar you will be able to predict the deformation produced uh, or elongation produced in the bar uh, using theoretical concept so uh, before uh, uh, putting into service uh, you, you should know what is the amount of uh, deformation that structural member will undergo during its service and also what is the force internal force it's acting the external loading you are applying uh, what is the internal forces uh, acting on it whether the material can withstand that internal forces um, that also we study in um, mechanics of materials so this is a kind of um, twisting uh, produced due to uh, torque applied and how much amount of angular twist the um, Uh, this bar undergoes due to um, this torque applied that are also you can study in um, mechanics of materials and the deflection produced you can measure um, not not only measuring it's like uh, it's not measuring so you can predict the deformation in advance before actually physically we conduct the experiment and measure it but uh, if you know the structural properties material properties you will be able to predict the deformations so without actually before putting into service you will be able to predict the deformations and uh, stresses induced uh, stress means the internal forces uh, per unit area is known as stress and the stress induced later i'll introduce the stress so this internal effects you can uh, predict in advance and this is a very fundamental subject a very basic subjects which is uh, the knowledge of which is uh, essential for um, a mechanical engineer and a structural engineer civil engineers now with this uh, brief introduction we will conclude uh, today's uh, session uh, thank you for watching